Well, hello guys! Welcome back. Let me see if I'm recording my voice here. Okay, I am doing this kind of first thing in the morning. Long, unamusing story. I was up to about 4.30 this morning, maybe 5 o'clock, because I had agreed, remember, to make the sacrifice and lay at the feet of Mercury, so no bag, no cup, no card, and it was physically painful because I could feel the strong pull and he was even telling me, he's like, this is a straight up test. I want to see, you know, you have to see how dedicated you are. It was actually physically painful, guys. It was like, I wanted to be up there so bad that it was like curled into like a tiny little ball. I've never experienced that before. And I'm a Gemini and we're as curious as 10 cats plus 10 kittens. And I finally passed out near dawn, which I thank the gods for. And I woke up and I'm like, uh like one or two i woke up at 8 30 and hermes is like you passed go see what you can get so i got up and i got dressed and i flew up there i got a bag y'all and i got a coat so they those are his though he argues back they are mine and as i'm checking out i got a coke for today because i said we would lay out a table we were supposed to lay out ham too for the dark of the moon and to celebrate him and loki but um, he wanted his ham last night, so he got it last night. But he was sending me a lot of signs last night, like um, in his hymn to warn people to stay home and stuff. He just straight up didn't want me up there, and he was even telling me it was a test, and he knew it wasn't fair, but it was the worst possible test he knew he could put me through. He says, Jim, I missed it. But we went up, and we flew up there, and let me see if you can see his altar. Ta-da! So, we're going out, and I come to the crossroads, right? And there is a flower, a beautiful flower, and there is, like, a stone for his makeshift her that I'm making out here. Every time I go into travel, I try to give him a stone. So, let me adjust the camera. Sorry about this, guys. So, um, he had already given me his blessing and I saw that I'm like that's good and I was like should I drop this off at the next crossroads by putting it in my pack for good luck get up there and she's holding these bags and there's like two bags in her hand and there's like two bags in this box beside her so I'm thinking holy cow they've been open half hour and they've already gotten 200 almost 200 people I'm glad I wasn't here for the opening so I did not get the card he did accept the card of sacrifice and the weird thing was, as I'm checking out, there's a young man in front of me, and he didn't have enough money. He says, do you have six cents? I was like, yeah. And I opened up my coin purse, and I have coins from um, Hermes I keep in there. And I gave him six cents out of that to, like, pass the floor. And he thanked me so much. I said, yeah. And he says, oh, you're next. And I went, and I'm getting checked out. And he comes back, and he hands me a dime. And, like, how clear could Mercury be? Oh, Hermes, sorry. It's, like, 8 in the morning, and I'm, like, suddenly full Italian. How <laughs> how more clear could Hermes be that it was him and it was his blessing? Not that that physical dude was him, but it was his blessing. So, we came home, and I'm trying the whole way home, and we had to stop and look in the bag because we were excited. It is a bag and a sippy cup. There's no... There's nothing else in there except for I gave him the order slip and I gave him the dime because he protected me on my travels. So we came home and I gave him the stone for his hern and it, we come home and my order had come in from Walmart. So that came in. So we will have a very nice spread today. Sans ham. Because I was in a hurry to check out and try to get a bag. <laughs> I was like, I mean, he's being nice enough to let me go up and he only kept me in a half hour late. I really do think, though, guys, that he protected me. I think it was not only a test. I think I could have got hit by a car. I could have fell and hurt myself. Um, they didn't have a lightning storm, but I do think it had rain. So he protected me. I know he did. I could have got hit by a car. People could have been too excited. So I know he protected me. I know it was for my own good, but it was also this kind of sacrifice thing because he wanted to see if I was serious and the thing i carried over from food on and i got home i checked his water and i clean his you know give him fresh water every day and keep the chalice clean um it was extremely cloudy 
and I make sure I put clean, clear water on his um, altar. And in Vudan and other, you know, Dispora religions, it's to, to indicate you were given a healing or a disaster was taken away from you. So he did everything he could to tell me to slow down and <laughs> to not go. But after I had made the sacrifice, after he got the card and I had showed I could obey by some miracle of the gods, <laughs> he he was like, yeah, you can have a bag. Go ahead. Go get a bag. You're so cute. He was, and the thing was, to make it worse, here's the part that made it ten times worse. At about two in the morning, he's like, you can go. I was like, no, I hate you. No, you can totally go. You're testing my ethics. I hate you. He's like, you can go. And I even sent my alarm, guys. This is how strong he was pushing me. I even sent my alarm. Then I'm like, wait, this doesn't make any sense. We specifically agreed. He accepted my offering. There's no way Hermes is going to turn around and go, you can go. And he was even like, oh, you can totally go. But then, like, giving me warnings. The, fr the freezer did something strange and like all this other stuff and funny his um him and the warning stuck out to the turtle about being safer to stay at home i was like he he was really testing me he wanted to make it as hard as possible on me and like i said it was actually physically painful and the gods were even like, you know this is a test, we know it hurts, but this is the only test he could come up with that would work on you. So, I guess I passed. He was like, you passed. I'm like, yeah, would you still let me go up? He's like, you passed. You just weren't up there for the opening ceremony. So I missed the opening ceremony. I missed the $10 gift card, which I don't care because I wanted him to take a sacrifice. But we got the cool bag. We got the cup. I got the dime which will go back in my purse. I kept trying to give it to him, and he's like, no, you're putting in your coin purse for protection. He got a beautiful flower and a um, stone for his hern, and we got a drink for later on, and I got him two candy bars, because I was like, thank you. So, yeah, it's cool. And Loki gets the sugar and everything. It's not like Loki moves over and never gets fed. And since our Walmart order came in, Loki will be into that. So... I hope you guys like what you see. I haven't had any breakfast yet. I've had like two sips of coffee, but I want to share that with you guys. So we will see you later. Bye-bye.